Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to work on the new type of question. So we are going to work on the problem solving and data analysis. We did not solve this kind of questions before. And new thing here, a new icon in upper right corner, which is a calculator icon. So whenever the question is allowed uh, to use calculator, you are going to see this icon in upper right corner. So this is the problem uh, solving and data analysis question. We have a graph here and we have a like, uh, story here. So let's get started. John runs at different speeds as part of his training program. The graph shows his target heart rate at different times during his workout. On which interval is the target heart rate strictly increasing than strictly decreasing? In this question, there is a two part here. The first part, strictly increasing. And the second part is strictly decreasing. So important thing here, what is increasing? What is strictly decreasing here? So what does this strictly mean? So it means sharply increase, sharply decrease, simply. So let's check the graph. So this is a graph. I have the same kind of like lines. So some of them going up. So some of them, they are straight. Some of them going down. So like here, the x axis is about the time in minutes, like 10, 20, 30, 40. It's going up to 100 minutes. Uh, for the y axis here, it is the target heart rate beats per minute. It is starting to 40 at the very bottom, 80, 120, so 100 around here, 160, 140 around here. Here is like around like uh, 60 beats per minute. Okay, so what is the line means? Like some of them going up. So simply, as you see, this is like around uh, 70 or 60 beats per minute. It is increasing to 80. So this is increasing. So if I use the different colors, let's say that one, uh, let's say they use the red one for increase. So let's use the blue one for decrease. So for the increasing one, this is increasing. As you see, the red ones is increasing. This also increasing. This is increasing. That one also increasing. So for the decreasing, this is decreasing, so that one is decreasing, so that one is decreasing. So how about uh, this line, straight line? This is not increasing, not decreasing. How about that one? This is also not increasing or decreasing. We have one more here, it's not increasing or decreasing. What are these? How we call them? So we call them, they are stable, they stay stable so i will just highlight the stable this is stable this is also stable line so for this question stable heart rate so this is also stable so what i'm going to look for for the question is the target heart rate strictly increasing then strictly decreasing so for example uh, as you see, the red one increasing, 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 all is increasing, but strictly increasing. So like this is increasing, this is also increasing. This is all strictly increasing because they are going up. So as you see, like that one is not uh, so uh, sloppy, but that one it is. So it's going more upper, the, the slope is higher. So this is more strict. So this also strict. So if you compare that one and that one, which one is more strict? So this is more strictly increasing line. So this is less strictly increasing. So first I will check strictly increasing then strictly decreasing. So here strictly increasing and then stay stable for a while. How many minutes you are checking here? Starting 10. Here is like 10, 80 minutes, 10 minutes here, one more 10 minutes here, like 10, 30. So 10, 80 minutes, it stays 80 20 minutes stable and then decreasing. But I look for increase, then decrease, increase, stable, decrease. This is increasing, then strictly decreasing. 
So I guess what I am looking for here. But let's check continue. This is increasing, stay stable, increasing, stay stable and decreasing. So increasing then decreasing. So that one, as you see, it starts from the 40 minutes to 60 minutes. When I look at here, between 40 minutes and 60 minutes, it's here. So my correct answer for this question is B. Thank you. Have a great day.